Okay, we're going to read the last two chapters from our book, What Would Jesus Do? Up from the Ashes, Chapter 19. Looking out on the ruins of Riddle Hill, Pastor Henry spoke to the people. Some of us here have been learning this week what it means to follow Jesus. We're trying to ask in everything, what would Jesus do? We've made mistakes, it's true, and smoke now fills the sky, and ashes lie all around us. All the people's homes are ruined. It's so sad. The people here who are poorest, the people of Riddle Hill, have lost even the little they had. This is terribly sad, but it's not the end. Dear friends, I ask you, right here and right now, what would Jesus do? From the crowd of church people, a man's voice sounded, He would build new homes, better houses than before. And up rose a cheer from the churchyard people. Yes, we can do it. We build them new homes, even better than the ones they had. That's exciting. And who will help us build this new Riddle Hill, shouted Pastor Henry. The first to say, I will were Beanie Joe and Bill. Many others said it too, both young and old. The church people made another promise too. They decided to share their homes, their food, and their clothes with the people of Riddle Hill while the new houses were being built. So all the people began their new work, just as Jesus would do. So they turned something that was a very bad thing the fire and people losing all that they had to be something very good. They were all going to be helping the Riddle Hill people. They were going to let them stay in their homes if they had an extra bedroom. They were going to cook for them and share their food. And they were going to collect clothing so that everybody would have new clothes to wear. And they were going to build them new homes even better than the ones they had before. And best of all, they made new friends, and they were able to tell them about Jesus. The last chapter, the dream. In the following days and years of the Valley Church people gave everything to make Riddle Hill a new and better place. Pastor Henry, Miss Page, and the others told all their new friends about Jesus. They helped build new homes and new happiness, and new hope. Beanie Joe found new friends, good friends, who helped him do good things. And his very best new friend was Jesus. Remember, it's very important to pick your friends. You don't want to pick friends that would maybe make you do things that are wrong, like Beanie Joe did at first. Now he picked new friends, like Bill, who would help him to do the right thing. Dan and Bruno, remember the two that wanted to do the fire? They were sent away for starting the fire, so they, they had consequences to their actions. Bill and Joe went to visit them. So Bill and Joe, even though they weren't good friends to them, they went and visited them because they forgave them, and they went and visited them and told them about Jesus and forgiveness. Jumping with a certain jump rope it became a favorite game for Riddle Hill children. Remember Claire decided to give them her jump rope? Claire came often to play with them and had more fun than ever. And Jack had a special dream. Remember that was Mr. Manning's friend? In his dream he traveled everywhere watching and listening all over the world, he found churches and homes where men and women, girls and boys, would always ask, What would Jesus do? When Jack awoke, he prayed, Lord Jesus, let this dream come true. So you can be a part of Jack's dream coming true. To always ask yourself, What would Jesus do? Jesus always did the right thing, so if you do those things, 
you'll always do the right thing. You'll always say the right thing. So I encourage you to ask yourself, what would Jesus do?